Well, the streaming wars may claim another victim as reports say Paramount is considering merging its Showtime offering into Paramount Plus. The move comes as competition for eyeballs continues to mount. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Ali Canal for the very latest on that. Ali. Hi, Kiko. That's right. And those reports have only been fueled by the latest executive departure at the company. David Nevins, who has run Showtime since 2016, will be exiting his role at the end of the year. And that shakeup suggests that Paramount is open to revamping. Showtime obviously has created some top series like you're seeing on your screen, Billions, Yellow Jackets, Dexter, among others. And the company can really leverage that programming to boost Paramount Plus subscribers. Currently, Paramount Plus Plus has 43.3 million subs with the expectation to reach 100 million by 2023. The exact number of Showtime users is unknown, but across all of its properties, Paramount has about 64 million subscribers. So clearly Paramount Plus is the driving force on the streaming side. Paramount CEO Bob Backish confirmed last month that these talks were happening as the company looks toward the future, cord cutting obviously accelerating. Showtime lost about 500,000 subscribers in Q1, according to the CEO. So this is something that we've seen really across the sector. As these platforms look to scale, look to compete, we have the combination of HBO Max and Discovery happening this summer. Stars is aiming to separate itself from Lionsgate to merge with other content providers. So consolidation is really just the name of the game at this point, especially as the streaming wars come to a head. But I have to shout out that next week we'll be discussing this and much more with Paramount CEO Bob backish during the Yahoo Finance All Markets Summit. So make sure to tune into that. Akiko, I'm very excited to talk to him because considering the news that we've been getting the past few weeks, there's a lot going on in this industry. Yeah, teeing things up for us, Ali, for our big day. The All Markets Summit, of course, set for Monday next week. Bob Backish among a long list of uh, executives we'll be speaking to throughout the day. Ali Canal, thanks so much for that.